Hey everyone, um, I wanted to explain a simple way to use metric system and to convert one unit to another. And um, I'm going to show you today is the metric ladder system. And this is the metric ladder. We start off in the center here with the basic units of metric, and we know that to be grams, meters, and liters. Um, and then we have the pre prefixes to the left and to the right. If we have 10 grams, for instance, this would be that would be a decagram. Uh, 100 grams would be a hectogram. A thousand grams would be a kilogram. Um, if we took that gram and went the other direction, we broke it up into small pieces. Uh, if we broke it up into 10 um, equal pieces, each one would be a decigram. Um, 100 pieces, each piece would be a centigram. And if we broke that gram up into a thousand pieces, it would be a milligram. And so um, let me start off. Let's just go right in and give you an example. Let's start with meters. Um, meters. And if we said we had, I don't know, 540 meters, and we wanted to know how to convert that into kilometers, all we do is take a look at where we're our starting point, and our starting port point is the basic unit of meters. We want to get to kilometers so we'll start here and we what we need to do is just climb up the ladder one two three jumps and so that tells us where to put the decimal point so we s take our number 540 here's our decimal point and we moved it one two three to the left so we're gonna move our decimal point one two three to the left and so our new number becomes 0 0.540 kilometers if we started, let's say, with a different number, let's let me clear this and give you a different example. Um, let's say, for instance, we had um, I don't know, 25, 25 grams. We'll go to say grams, and we wanted to know um, milligrams. How many milligrams? So we're going to go one, two, three spaces to the right. Okay, so we're changing 25 grams into milligrams. And looking at the ladder, we take our decimal point and we move it one, two, three spaces to the right. And that's our answer. So 25 grams is the same as 25,000 milligrams. All right, so it's it's you know a a, a real easy way to um, figure out conversions, and uh, the more you do it, the more you kind of understand and get a grip of how big things are things are and how small things are and how the metric system works. Um, hope it helps. Uh, practice it, and if you have any questions, uh, bring it up in class. Thanks.